All right, I'm playing some Tour 8 here, hole 6, par 4. My teammates have asked me to play some Tour 8 this week. I'm trying to remember how to play all these holes. The Vineyard Acres ones, I we've played just recently. In one of the tournaments, so I, I know all of these holes, but some of the other ones I haven't played in a long, long time. Some of the shootouts, I there was one of the shootouts earlier. I don't even know what course it was on. I don't even remember ever seeing that hole. I think it was one of the Eagle Peak holes. All right, our opponent's doing an overpowered shot here, which I'm not a fan of doing an overpowered shot on this particular hole. But if they lined it up, they hit it perfect, so it should go right where they want it to go. The thing about being in the rough from down there is you can get over and can get on. I'm going to switch to my number two bag. Trying to get up into that hole as far as I can. We're right at the red line, so I'm going to pull back just a little so I can give myself enough room to adjust the wind out. That's about a 3 4, so 3.4 rings, and just try and hit it perfect. Hitting it great to the right, which with a quarterback should not be any problems whatsoever. And just trying to get up on the hill. Normally in tournament play, if you're playing from the Ricky Tees, I play this with a uh, Katana. But from the Expert Tees, it would probably be better to play with a Kingmaker. The goal here is, is that you want your red line to be right about where that rough is. And this is a great wind if you have a Katana and you can get all the way to the top of the hill. I've got a Titan and I'm a little short. Oh, excuse me, a little short at the top of the hill, so I should still have the shot. And what I found here is, though, even though I'm at minimum club, I play a maximum wind wind adjustment. I want to go right at it. Right, where's my minimum club? Minimum's right there, so pretty close to minimum. I'm gonna play a maximum wind adjustment. And I wanna go right at the hole. An alternative way of understanding the cosmos. One that doesn't require dark matter. A little on the outside. Okay, so seven, nine. There's five. Six, seven. I'm going to do a full adjustment because I was a little short on the first one. Hit it great on the right. I had to snap that off because I was running out of time. Pretty close. Yeah, those are low percentage shots. This is a very hard hole to eagle. But the last time this hole was in a tournament, I really started to dial it in. And actually, I, I in the past, I've always like, just get on the hole and get your birdie and go home because I this is not a hole that I've got a lot of eagles on. But the last time this was in a tournament, I really, especially that making the maximum wind adjustment, even or maximum wind adjustment, even though you're at minimum club, really kind of changed how close I've been getting. So that distance right there is about where I ended up in the last tournament every time and I eagled this hole twice. And so you can't dial it in. Oh, excuse me. Nine, nine side wind. Oh, it's got a big dog. I used to love this hole because it was a dominated by Guardian, but they redesigned it in the last tournament that it was in. 
And now it's pretty much a level playing field. You can pretty much bring any wood to this hole, or excuse me, long iron, and or wood, and you will be, you've got a shot. My opponent's in long iron because they have a Goliath, which hits about 135 per 135 yards. I'm probably going to be in my wood range and pretty much minimum wood. I should be able to throw the ball out there and beat that. So there's minimum club right there. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a titch. I'm not trying to be super exact here. Isn't it perfect? About right distance. Pretty good, pretty good shot. All right, that was hole four, par three. That was the bonus shootout. <laughs> Thanks for watching.